Hey everyone, State Representative Maurice West. Back in Springfield, excited about that. Um, today is Tuesday, March 15th, and it's roughly 4.46 p.m. Interesting day today because all of my committees were canceled, so I did not uh, have to do any committee work. We did some house resolutions on the house floor. I uh, had a conversation today with Elliott Golf Course, about Elliott Golf Course with Cherry Valley and Rockford, along with uh, Representative Bella, Senator Stalderman. But the thing I want to talk to you about today is that Mercy Health was approved to close their beds. Did an interview with WREX and it was hard for me to get through it without um, getting emotional because my job is, I feel, um, that my, one of my sole missions as being your state representative is to ensure equity on both sides of our beautiful river in the city of Robert. Well, equity is not the case when it comes to our health care in Rockford. A lot of factors out of my control, but as a leader, I take, I take responsibility. And so one thing I shared with WREX that I'm sharing with you here on my segment is that I'm looking for a response, not a reaction, a response um, to what's happening. But one thing I do know is Mercy Health must go. That's what I shared with WREX. That's what I'm sharing with you. Mercy Health must go. And we need to bring a, a health care system in to Rockford who is really dedicated towards equity and fairness, who really understands what we go through for within our city limits. So that was how the day ended with that, with that conversation with WREX. But I wanted to make sure you guys know that I'm looking for a response to that. Don't know what it is yet, but once it, you, I do have it, we'll talk. If you have ideas, let me know. And we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, March 16th, and it is 4.45 p.m. I think it was roughly the same time I came to you yesterday. Um, I hope you're doing well. Nothing much for me to report for today. We had a day, it, today was a day where we introduced our first guest to the House floor in two years. And it was the Speaker of the New York State Assembly, uh, Carl Hastings, um, who just came to talk with us uh, as a body and then as a caucus. Uh, then I had higher education committee where we took over some, uh, took care of some Senate bills. And so um, I'm gonna spend the rest, a couple more minutes before I hit, leave my office to uh, check on the status of some of my bills that I'm working on. And hopefully I can give you an update of that tomorrow because tomorrow's the last day before I go back home. Um, next week, we'll I'll be here for four days. The week after that, we'll be here for 12 days, and then we're done with session. Um, so uh, that's my report for today. See you tomorrow. All right. Hey, everyone. Today is Thursday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's 1.36 p.m. I'm hoping... Why, doesn't we, why don't we make the Rock River green? I'm hoping the Rock River is green, but... I heard the Chicago River's green. It's just so good to see it all unfold again. But happy St. Patty's Day to all of you. Uh, today was a good day when it comes to the work that I was working on for our district. I was able to get House Bill 1587 out of Human Services Appropriations Committee. House Bill 1587 is a bill, it's my top priority bill for this session. Uh, uh, since about roughly June, eight to nine months, I've been, I had a working group that I put together with members of the disability community, uh, with various centers of independent living throughout the state, including RAMP here in Rockford. Um, and we worked on procuring funding, getting funding appropriated for home modifications. So if you're a member of the disability community, or if you qualify um, uh, under, under ADA as disabled and you need a ramp built on your porch, there's funding available if you qualify for it. That's what we're trying to fight for. $7.5 million. And we was able to get it out of committee, which is good. Still a lot more to do, right? Still have to get it out the house. 
and then my nerves start happening because now I get a just it has to go to the Senate and I have zero control after that you know that's democracy at its best um, just to have safeguards in place but as a legislator it just gives you it makes you nervous because you have to you want to, you want to make sure it passes but it's no longer your bill once it leaves your chamber so I'm gonna do all I can all I can in the house and then Senator Karina Bia uh, from Batavia I believe is going to take it in the Senate and I'll just trust and believe that she can make it happen in the Senate 7.5 million for the disability community and the disability community will add, will determine who gets those funds um, that's the best part in my opinion the centers of independent living will appropriate those funds accordingly so that's what got out of committee today and I wanted to share with you I'm about to get myself together and make my way back home to uh, be with my wife and baby girl next week is a five day week or four day and then the week after days uh, uh, the week after that is a 12 day week three more weeks left until sessions ends on April 8th so there's a lot to do um, but that's my update for this week you remember how to reach me um, I'm here for you I may not know all of you but I love you and that's why I do this job all right I'm most likely on the road by the time you see this so uh, give me a call if you need anything recall my office or email us if you need anything and I will see you later have a good day